Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and tutorial a Turk Fast Imp. We're on a Smurf account right now that I'm using for the beginner to 2k guide on the channel. But today it's going to be a little bit more of a chill video. Um, I'm not going to record this for that guide. This game will just be uh, a small tutorial on how to do the Turk Fast Imp on Arena. We started off like any build by just going 6 on sheep, 3 on wood, and then it gets a little bit more complicated as late Dark Age comes around. It is arena, so there's nothing that can go wrong in early game. You can basically go AFK for the first 10 minutes and still win the game. But before we go AFK, let's go ahead and delete the side walls. We always do that to give us more space. Thank you, Roxy, for the four gifted subs, by the way. That's in a, it's in a peer on the YouTube video as well. We got the sub goal up top, so this is a very come say hi to Twitch YouTube video. Make sure to come check me out on Twitch, guys, on YouTube. And those on Twitch, go check out the YouTube. That's how we do it around here. So yeah, once you have the sheep, you basically can just go for uh, the wood, or sorry, the, the deer, and then right now I need to go for the wood. Let's take this this wood. So six on sheep, then go straight to wood. Yeah, like I said, nothing can go wrong in Arena. Just focus on getting a good dark cage. Um, <clears throat> not really much to talk about. We'll lure deer, we'll take the boars, and just make sure we're, like I said, very efficient with our with our resources, with our villagers here. Make sure to get good dealers. It's arena. Like, get them, really get them inside. This guy's giving me a hard time, but I don't... Like, you have so much time to lure them, so just make sure they're coming in nice. Don't be lazy with it. There we go. That guy's, like, underneath the TC. That's perfect. Three to wood. All good. And now we just go ahead and take a boar. Uh, so very standard build to start things off, but where the fast dip gets interesting is a little bit later on. Uh, there are two ways to fast imp. The first one is a bit of a lower level strategy. This one will go straight to the hunt. First one is a lower level strategy where it works in lower levels and it even works in higher levels, but it's a lot more fragile. And that's the fast dip with hand cannoneer and bomber cannon, no castle. Um, this is the better build however it is like i said more fragile and could get countered could get pushed that is the one i'm going to show today i'm going to show the build without a castle the build with the castle is a lot later of an imperial age time so it's not as fast mp i'm going to go to berries by the way it's not as fast mp as the one with um you know with just no castle what are the benefits of making the castle so if I make the castle, my opponent might think that I'm going to go Janissaries in Castle Age and not Fast Imp. However, it will delay my Imperial Age time. So that's like the give or take. You also, with the castle, are able to make some monks and contest the relics. So you can pick up some relics uh, with the Janissaries to defend the monks and the monks to pick up the relics. And then you can even, it's more flexible. You can decide if you want a fast dimp or simply just boom behind it. So more flexible, less powerful, but, you know, keeps your opponent guessing. The one I'm going to show, though, is not that one. Not with the castle. I'm going to get a sheep in, by the way. I'm going to show the one that is super, super all-in, one-dimensional. It's fragile, but it's super powerful. And that's the one with Henkinir Bomb Mechanic. We're going to sell our stone because we don't need it. And we're going to go ahead and absolutely destroy our opponent with gunpowder as fast as we can. That is the game plan, okay? Uh, so, I'll show you guys how to do it. First, I'm going to get this deer in. Try to get as close as possible. Boom. Perfect. Oh, I'm missing a house. Drop a house. There we go. It's never perfect, even in these build those tutorials. Alright, so now the general game plan is just to get up to 28 villagers, or 28 pop rather, and then we'll click up to Feudal Age. I think actually 29 pop uh, is better, so 28 vills, 29 pop with the scout. That's going to be the build we're going to try. I like to go 5 on berries, we'll go like 7, 8 on wood, 1 lumber camp, something like that. And uh, yeah, I should be scouting the map by the way. <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter because it's arena, but I mean, you, you definitely should to spot the relics and such. Uh, thank you, JP Sloria, for the Prime for 18 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hey, 
hey, here, a great educational series. Thank you, JP Story. I appreciate it, man. Came in at the right time because we're doing a builder guide here. And there's not much for me to talk about going eight on wood. The numbers, you don't have to memorize them, guys. I'm doing it by feel. And now I'm gonna make a bunch of farms here as well. You can't just wait to feudal age to make farms. Ideally, we want horse scholar farms like in most builds. But remember, this is a fast imp, so we're not even worried about uh, you know having horse scholar at all. Um, we want as many resources into you know getting up to imp and making gunpowder as possible. And so we're gonna go pretty much the rest of the builds on gold. And then once the the sheep run out, we just send them to straggler trees. And this isn't your standard arena build where you go only like two to gold. Because we want to go up to Imperial Age after this, you're going to send a bunch to gold here. And we're going to do two more pop. We'll go up 29 pop. And that should be nice. I did a really poor job of scouting the map, by the way. Let's at least find where our opponent is so we know where to attack him. And yeah, one more pop and then we go up. No loom because you just don't need loom in arena. There's no chance you get attacked. Nothing's going to go wrong. So we just skip Loom and save the 50 gold, and also save the time in the town center. Thank you, Daniela, for the raid. Uh, welcome to Daniela's viewers. We're actually just doing a little bit of a fast imp builder tutorial here on Arena. Making the most out of getting, uh, you know, getting a, a map I don't really care to showcase just yet on the Road to 2K series. But I will showcase some Arena eventually, I think play one game on Arena just to show how, how the map is played. It's a pretty popular map, so why not? So yeah, I found my opponent. He's actually quite close, which is nice. And go ahead and make a house. No need for a barracks just yet, I believe, because we want Blacksmith Market anyways. We'll get the ranges a bit later on. Um, yeah, we want Market Blacksmith anyways. Thinking about that. Maybe not, though. Do we need a Blacksmith for anything? I think you need a blacksmith to make the seed shop, so yeah, we, we will need the blacksmith. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna go market blacksmith. We'll make the barracks later for the range, but not for now. We're also gonna sell our stone, by the way, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and make them with the wood bills. The blacksmith, and you know what? These guys should have been on farms all, all this time. Uh, I need the food, so we'll just make the, the farms there. We will get double bid axe. This upgrade pays back in literally five minutes, and it's just so worth to pick it up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pick that up, and the rest of the bills will just make um, farms. No horror scholar. This upgrade takes like 20 minutes to pay off. It's not worth it. We, we're trying to end the game from 20 minute mark to 25 minute mark. That, that five minutes is where we end the game. So anything that takes too long to pay off, eco upgrade wise, we're gonna skip. Um, thinking on whether I need this, I don't know how fast the gold upgrade pays off or pays back. I think it might be worth it, so I'm going to pick it up. Might need to do the math on that one, but it's okay. I'll pick it up anyways. We'll sell our stone. You can even buy a little bit of food because you will need to buy food in this build. And Turks also get the other gold, like the gold mining bonus, so that's... We're getting like gold mining upgrade plus the bonus, really good. Uh, in Castle Age, it's very important, we don't need a university. So when I get the Castle Age, I'm going to make Siege Workshop Monastery. The Monastery could help getting the push started, so it's going to be a pretty solid, you know, pretty, pretty solid building just to have in general. I'll get a second mining camp here. You just need the second mining camp, you're going to be saturating that gold a lot. Question from the chat, why don't you drop wood before making a farm? You need to watch my YouTube videos, I covered this recently. Um, a farm acts as a resource drop-off point, so as soon as you make a farm, if you have, let's say, eight food, if I make the farm here, which I actually shouldn't make a farm, but whatever, this, eight, this nine food will go to my stockpile. Look when the farm is done, I'm gonna get an extra nine food. Look at that, boom, nine food came in, it went from a six to a five, which means I got nine food, so there you go, that's why. All right, so that farm kind of screwed me over, but I got to teach something to someone in the chat, so it was worth it. But I need to make, <laughs> I'll probably buy a little bit of wood. Uh, I need to make a seed workshop on the front and a monastery literally anywhere. We're going to make three villagers here. It's not like when we're going up to Castle Age, we make only two. We're going to make three villas. 
And we're basically gonna send them to gold. We will need more wood in this build, but I'm gonna go ahead and do what my good old friend Huang does and buy the wood at the market because it's a lot easier to just send every villager to gold, which is currently one of my fastest sources of gather rate, and then just buy a little bit of wood. Actually, you know what? All we need was two bills, I think. So, or did I make three? I don't know, two or three, and then we go up. And I did make three. Huh, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, three bills, and then we go up. And as soon as you click up, we're gonna go ahead and make a barracks and start making some ranges. Because we need to go hand cannoneer, and uh, yeah, just pick up hand cannoneer and bomber cannon. Buy a little bit of wood, like I said, we will need to do that, so no surprise there. I don't need to rush the ranges. All you need to think about here is your ranges have to be ready by the time you get to Imperial Age. Um, you don't need them before because we can't start massing. And this gives me a little bit of time to talk about why Turks are so good at fast imp. We get chemistry for free. That upgrade takes like a minute and a half to two minutes to make. I'm not sure exactly what, but it takes forever uh, to, to make that upgrade. So by getting it for free, we're A, saving on the resources for that, and B, we're saving the time it takes to get chemistry. And that's why Turks are a much better fast stim sieve than something like Byzantine. Even though Byzantine will save on Imperial Age upgrade itself, you need to get chemistry, which takes way too long. I'm going to skip Bosaw because it doesn't pay back fast enough, I believe, for a fast stim build. And it's a little too expensive, so I'll just skip that. And we want to aim for two ranges minimum. If you can squeeze in a third, it's pretty good too. We only need one Siege Workshop cannons. Uh, cannons are a really powerful unit, and they're also quite expensive. So making a second Siege Workshop just won't be viable. Do I go third third range? No, we'll just go two range. That's perfect. I'll add the third one eventually. You could at this point make one Monk to get Relics. So, you know, I'll show you it can make it. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to focus more on the, on the push itself. Buy the wood, buy whatever you need, remember? And yeah, we're gonna get started. It's gonna be Bombard Cannon and Hand Cannon here. Look at that. Right off the bat. Scouting where I'm gonna rush with the Hussar. What about armor? Good point. We can get some armor. Um, I can afford it, so yes. Uh, it's not the most important upgrade, but it's it's really important if you're up against range units. If you're up against melee units, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, I'd rather just keep constant production. And the bills that come out of my town center, guys, super simple. You literally just go straight to the gold. Another question in chat, why not Siege Tower? Siege Tower is fine for the surprise factor, but we want to kill his buildings. And Bomber Cannon breaks really fast. So we don't actually care to make the siege tower. I got housed down. <laughs> make the houses here. Yeah, I, I don't actually care for the siege tower or the, for the fast push. Look how fast the wall breaks. And you can even keep your hand cannons close. You got your Hussar. Hussar is really good at countering skirms, by the way. And see, look, if I got a siege tower, I could deny the castle. But if he's already got a castle, I need the cannons to push it. And you break in so fast that a cannon is just better than a siege tower. Continue making sure your production is good. Remember cannons and uh, bomber cannon or hand cannon your bomber cannon. And that's the window we want to kill our opponent in basically. Uh, 20 to 25 minutes is the prime time for the strategy. And we're not doing anything fancy. We're literally just doing a build order which you can practice and then getting good production. And yeah, I mean the micro is pretty simple. You just kill your opponent's villagers. He got the castle up, surprisingly. Run! I should not have let him get that up, eh? But we can just hit that castle now with the cannons. And once again, a reason why you want... Oh, let's get onto this gold. And look at my economy, guys. It's, it's so easy to have a, a good economy with this because the market will do everything for you. Get houses. Like, this is a super strong push on Arena. And uh, I highly recommend you guys try it out if you don't like to boom and if you like to push instead. Uh, I think this, this strategy is borderline unstoppable at lower levels. Um, I can easily see you guys one, and I shouldn't really be promoting this, but because it's not like that healthy for the game, but it, it is a strategy that will get you higher elo uh, without you having a lot of skills, GG. Because 
if you just copy this build loader, look at this. Like I said, 20 to 25 minutes is where we win. We won at 24 minutes. So it's pretty much on time. And there's nothing your opponent can do to stop this um, if they're not expecting it. And while it is predictable, and a, a higher level opponent will be able to stop it in some areas or make it a lot harder for you, lower level opponents or players that don't expect it will completely get rolled with this strategy. Now, it's not going to take you to 2K. It's not like a try this and you get to 2K really fast, but it will probably get you a few hundred ELO points that you don't deserve um, if you just get good at doing the strategy. I will, however, at the end of this video, give you the counter strategy verbally right now. The way to counter this is to stay all in in Castle Age. If you're the defender, don't try to get to Imperial Age. You won't have time for it. Remember, going up to Imperial Age costs 1,800 resources. And if you try to, as the defender, pay 1,800 resources and wait three minutes for Imperial Age, you won't be able to afford anything else if you even get there. The way to defend it is to go mass knights in Castle Age and swarm him one time when he's in your base. Let him come really deep, really close to your base, and then one shot, swarm him with knights and take out pretty much all of his uh, army. Once you kill the army, your economy is much stronger, you will win the game, and you can work your way up to Imperial Age only after you clear it. You could also try going for a mix of crossbows and skirms, but you're gonna have to out micro cannons. Uh, if you do that, make sure to get ballistics so you can snipe his hand cannoneer and just try to overrun him with a lot of units. So that's gonna do it for the build. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the timing. Um, obviously, I'm doing this in lower levels right now, just showcasing the tutorial, and I'm using this account to make the Road to 2K series, so hopefully benefiting everyone. And yeah, take a look at the times, 12 minute Feudal Age, 12.30, 16.06 Castle Age, and 20 minutes and 11 second Imperial Age. That's a pretty good timing there. And as you can see the timeline there, pretty solid stuff. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you enjoyed this build as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.